Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play Falling Slowly by Glenn Hansard and Marquetta Glova. Hope that you enjoy. Please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like the guitar tab, that's available down below. And also, if you'd like to get early access to all of my lessons, 25% off tabs, and you want to try out any of my finger picking courses for free, then go ahead and join my newsletter. You can sign up up here. It takes two seconds. Okay, so the song begins with a lovely four bar intro. Which goes like that. Okay, so there, I'm starting on a C chord. So just hold down a C chord, and what you're gonna do in your picking hand is you're going to play the second and the fifth string together. And then you're gonna play the third string. And then it's the second string, but Play the third fret on the second string using your pinky. Okay, and then the third string. So you've gone. Okay, then play the top string, open of course. Then back to the third string. And then again, second string, third fret. And then back to the third string. So it's always going back to the, the third string. So look, you've played. Okay, so that's the first bar. Just go really slow until you've got it. Loop it round as many times as you need to. The next chord is like this. So it's an F sus two chord. So what I'm holding down is on the second string, still the first fret, the third string is open, and then on the fourth string, hold down the third fret. Okay, and if you can, get your thumb around the back and play the first fret on the sixth string. If that's too hard, just play the fourth string in the bass and that's absolutely fine. But if you're okay with this, then play that first fret on the sixth string in the bass, okay? So with that then held down, play the second and the sixth string together. Okay, but remember, this is totally fine if you can't manage the thumb around the back. But anyway, you play that, and then again it's going to be third string, then third fret on the second string, then the third string, so that there is. Okay, and then it's the first fret on the top string, back to the third string, and then it's open top string, and then it's the third string. Okay, so that F sus2 chord, slowly, you've played. How nice is that? It's really nice to play. So we put these two bars together, you've played this. So then the third bar comes along and it's exactly the same as the first bar. So we go back to C, play it just like before. Okay, so that's no problem. And then we go back to our F, sus2, just like before, and play the sixth string first fret in the bass if you can, or, you know, fourth string is absolutely fine. Play that with the second string, and then you're just going to play the third string, second string, third string, second string, third string, second string third string. So that's just like one and two and three and four and. Okay, so bars three and four, remember the C chord, same as the first time, and then the F sus two is just and three and four and. And that's how you play the intro. So here it is once more for you from the start. Play along if you've done enough practice. One, two, three, four. And then you're into the verse. So, 
as you can see, the verse is exactly the same as the intro. So that's great. You've learned how to play that. Just if you're going to be singing over the top, of course, learn the lyrics and, you know, you're away. But as I say, verse is exactly the same as the intro. That then goes into the bridge. So the games that never amount to more than their men will play themselves now. And that leads into the chorus. So, you know, this is the pre chorus or the bridge, whatever you want to call it, but it's nice and simple. The chords are A minor 7 to G down to that F sus2 and back to G and then it's A minor 7 G and then the F again but let's break it down so hold down an A minor 7 chord if you don't know what that is it's just A minor but with the open third string hold that down and then you're going to play in the picking hand strings 5 3 2 3 okay then we go to a G, all you need to hold down is a 3rd fret on the 6th string. Hold that down, play it with the 2nd um, string. Okay, and then you're going to play the 3rd string and then the 2nd string. So that's just... So if you're going to count, that's like 1 and 2 and 3, 4 and... Alright. Then we go down to our F like this. And if you're all right holding that down, remember it's the same chord as from the intro and the verse. With that held down, then play string six, three, two, three, or four, three, two, three. Okay, but that's what you're doing there. Then back to your G. So again, just hold the bass note down, play strings two and six, followed by four, three, two. So that's just three and four and so that's the first two bars of this section you've gone slowly okay hopefully you're getting it Back to A minor 7, and just like before, strings 5, 3, 2, 3, and then to our G, and again, just like before, strings 2 and 6, and then 3, 2, so just 1, and 2, and 3, 4, and, and then we've got this. So it's just little sort of crescendo up to the chorus. So we're on this F again. So you can strum the chord. I'll probably just strum with my thumb like that. Um, but what I'm doing is my thumb's actually, you know, it's playing the sixth string, but it's also going to be musing the fifth string. So I can, if I strum over it, you can't hear it. It sounds absolutely fine. So you're starting on that sus chord like that. We'll give it one strum and then hammer the second fret on the third string. And you know, as I said a bunch of times now, just avoid that if it's too hard. And just play strings two, three, and four. Like that. Okay, so we've done that. And then we're gonna strum down, down, and then we're gonna add the third fret on the top string. Like that. So one, two, and up. And then we're just going to go and four E and R. So we're on our F, and we can just do two more down strums essentially. Then make it back to a sus chord. So we just lift that off and go up, down, up. So it's like down, down, up, down, up. And the whole bar is like. But you can play around with it a little bit. You know, you don't have to do it exactly like that. There's, I think there's room for a, a, a slight bit of nuance to your own playing, okay? So do bear that in mind, but something like that. Okay, and then again. And on the second bar, we just stay right on that full chord. 
just strum right through. So something like that. So if you put those two bars together, you've got. Okay, but as I say, feel free to change it a little bit. I've watched uh, Glenn Hansard play it live a few times online, and he seems to be mixing things up a little bit, slightly differently to how it was originally recorded. So please bear that in mind. But anyway, here's the bridge once more. And that, of course, goes straight into the chorus, and you're just strumming your way through these chords. Okay, so it's like take this sinking boat and point it home. We've still got time. Okay, yeah, I can't sing, but you know, you get the idea. And what's cool? So we're going C, F, A minor and then back to our F. But what's cool is that on all of these chords, that top string, the third fret's being held down. So we've got our C chord, but then just add your pinky on the third fret on the top string. Okay, and then remember the F sus two chord? Keep that, but add the third fret on the top string. And then it's A minor seven, but add the third fret on the top string. Okay, and then just back to the F, sus two. Okay, so, and then you add the strum, and I'm playing down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Or one and two and a, e and four, e and a. So that's the strum, and you just got to put it on top of those chords. That's what's going on in the chorus. So on the first chorus, you go through that chord progression twice, and then you get to that last F sus two, and you've got. Okay, and that will go straight back to the verse. So that's just once through strumming as normal. And then it's a really soft bar. Um, of the F, so listen to the song, but it's just going one, two, three, and four. So try and hear ba, 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 ba. But that's what's going on. So listen out for that. Here it is once more. But that goes straight back in, into this. So by this point, you've basically learned the vast majority of the song, which is fantastic. When you come out of the first chorus, you go back to the verse and you just play it right the way through, just like before, um, into the second chorus. And the second chorus is the same as the first, but it's just twice as long. So you'll just play through these chords, that chord progression four times. You won't play that double F like I just showed you. You just keep strumming your way through the chord progression. Okay, and you do it four times. And then on the last one, so the fourth time through this chord progression, now if you listen to the song, you'll hear just eight bars of this F. So you just hang on to that, this F, just strumming it. For eight bars, okay? So just listen to the song, you'll hear that right away. And once you've done eight bars on that F, you'll then hear the You'll hear that. I think there's like a violin playing as well. Those kind of like stabs or those accents. Um, again, that's just on the same chord. So there's a whole lot of F, <laughs> F sus going on there. And then you've just got the outro. which is 
just that. So it's a C chord, play strings two and five together, and then just strings three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Okay, so just one, two, and three, and four, and. And then we go to F sus two, and it's basically exactly the same. You know, the bass notes change to the sixth string or the fourth string depending on how you're playing it. Uh, but you just play one and two and three and, and then it's up to the third fret on the second string. Okay, so just one, two, three, like that. And then you just do that twice, essentially. And there you go. That's how you play Falling Slowly. So there you go. I hope that you enjoyed learning how to play that. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com. We've got hundreds more lessons all on fingerpicking over there for you to explore. But that's it for this one. I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.